Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Subi Shaves video, guys. With me, and today, this is round two, four. We're going to be doing the twig prism, again, against the copper thorn. And you guys are like, what is going on? Deja vu alert. Holy crap. Subi Shaves, step back. You just did this. And I'm like, guys, I know I just did this. But I had at least 20 requests, at least, between private requests, Instagram, emails, and below comments that want to see these two go head to head on the head, right? You guys, you guys want it? I'll bring it. You guys want to see it? You're going to watch it? All right, let's go. Let's do a head shave. Only head shave, guys, because you've already seen down below here. Only head shave today with these. And if we're doing this, if we're really going to go apples to apples, guys, I'm busting out the good stuff. We're going to do Persona Med Preps. Ultra sharp, extremely expensive, stupid expensive. And I, I think they're like almost a dollar a blade because they are long lasting and very sharp. And we're going to load both of them. All right. For you guys. For you guys. I'm here for you. We're going to do this. Please keep in mind. It helps the channel and helps me do these kind of things if you go below and you check out my friends links and my affiliate links. I have one and it's with Leaf. Guys, we got it with Leaf and with Colin. Colin, just a friend and we're going to be using one of his brushes today and it's awesome. All right, let's talk about what we're using today to do the head shave. Northern, uh, uh, sorry, Orbit from Noble Otter? What? I just got it and guys, let me tell you something. It's nice. It's completely different than Northern Elixir. I'm shocked. It smells very floral. I am I was really surprised. It's floral and sweet. What I get out of this is rose. Rose and menthol. That is what I smell. It's kind of weird. I didn't expect rose and menthol, but I kind of like it. I'm not a huge rose fan. So for me, it was kind of almost like a, wait, do I like this? You know what I mean? That floral essence. I'm like, I don't know if I really love that, but I like it on. I put it on my skin and it, it, it actually wears really nicely. So I think this is one that's going to stay. Again, we have the splash from them. So I smell that. I'm like, ooh, smell. It's really nice smell. It's just it's completely different than anything I usually wear. And I, I, don't, I don't think that's a bad thing, right? Having something you can wear once in a while, like a like a little boomerang, like a little side a side trick, right? Just to keep people guessing. It's nice. It's a good scent. Um, and we're using chill mill today, guys. I put this inside of my, my scuttle or my, my bowl. Sorry, it's not a scuttle. Put it in my bowl and I put it in my sink. I just cracked it open, did a couple grinds of it into the sink. Again, this is the PAA chill mill. I think this is one of his most intuitive products. <laughs> I really do. I know it's like not even shaving related, right? You can use this for a lot of things. Stuff you know, sinus things. Um, I like to clear my chest with it. You put it some in your hot water in a sink. Man, it turns your whole bathroom into a little spa. I love this product. Listen, Douglas, this is fantastic, dude. This is such a good idea. Why someone else hasn't thought of that, right? I love that concept. I, I use it all the time. I love the chill mill. I'm a huge fan of the chill mill. I've even said, come out with a scented chill mill. What? Right? That's free advice for you. Come out with a scented chill mill. I'd buy that. I'd buy that all day long. Make it in doppelganger gray. I'm a fan. Let's go. Um, all right. So let's, I want to show you guys. I've already got my lather going so that I don't waste your guys' time. Oh, did you guys see that? It's, it's, it's nice and hydrated. I can tell you that much. It's going to run right out of my bowl. Huh? Hydrated city. Ah! Look at that. Look at the shine on this. I don't want to talk about lather, guys. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to give it flamed. Don't get your pitchforks out and come after me for talking about lather. But it's super good today, guys. Again, no, they're not. No, uh, no, no water really works well for me. And this is a colon brush. You guys have seen this brush. It's a badger. And it's one that he has gelled together. And it is my favorite brush in my, in my staple. So I love the bore he made me, but... This is by far my favorite. I love the blue on blue. I saw this and I was like, I love that baby blue on blue. Oh, Colin does amazing work with brushes. And I mean, he's starting with kind of a hand up, right? Because he restores Everettis. Everettis are beautiful. Um, Everettis, Rubbermaids. He, he does the old vintage stuff. And I've got two, uh, I have two handles in there I need him to do for me. I actually have two currently that I need I to send it uh, to Colin. And you can get to his uh, profile page down below. It's in my, it'll be in my description. All right, guys. So like I said, I put some water in my sink and it has the um, chill mill in it. So when I start doing this, you'll see me doing this with some water. I'm actually adding some menthol in my head just to start. 
and it feels really good. It's like a splash of just like, <gasps> in these hot days, right? Hot, hot days, this is really nice. I don't know about you guys, but it's really hot where I'm at. Oh, and this is just like a good way to cool off. Instantaneously, my body's temperature goes down. And while I'm in here filming, that's a huge helper. All right, let's do the head shave. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Um, a couple of the people yesterday, re they, when they were watching my video, said, I forgot to mention, um, they own both, right? There's a lot of people that have decided to own a thorn and a twig because some days, you know, you have a sunburn and you want to have less aggressiveness on your skin. Great, great time to have a twig. Um, some days, you know, you have less stubble than you do uh, like if you've gone two or three days, right? Great time to have a twig versus the thorn. Whereas if you've gone two or three days without shaving, right? Good time to have the thorn instead of the twig. They actually talked about how they like to own both. Other people mentioned that, you know, they like to use different blades to really maximize performance. And while I understand that you can load really sharp blades and that's what we're doing today in this twig, you're still gonna get more performance out of the thorn, even using the dullest, like to go with a very, very mild blade. Even using leaf blades that I consider very mild, the thorn's gonna be far superior when it comes to cutting efficiency than this razor, right? That's just my personal opinion. I may not be 100% uh, on par with you guys, but that's how it feels on my skin. I wanted to do this really quickly and give you guys some really quick shots of the razor. I know I didn't do this yesterday, but I was just too, just too excited about the affiliation. I just, it's just, I'm on, I'm on cloud nine about it. And it's just, I, I am so excited. I can't even tell you guys. And I couldn't be doing that if I couldn't go to Leaf and say, I have people that would love to go from my channel to your site. And this copper guys, again, I just love, I don't think that they would have produced copper if I hadn't just freaked out when I saw it. Honestly, I loved the copper. And the moment I saw it, I loved it. And it's just a really beautiful, beautiful vintage um, oat, in my opinion. So that's, that's the copper, guys. And I've done the same thing with the prism. And again, I really believe Leaf has a problem is that when you take a picture of these razors, you don't get that effect. You don't get, you get a flat picture and you don't really get the full effect of this pearlescent finish. And that's kind of the advantage of being a, a channel, uh, you know, somebody developing content, developing videos is I can show you guys all the different angles with all the different lighting effects. And you see how pretty this is? It's just an absolutely beautiful razor. The Prism really is a beautiful finish, especially if you're into that 80s vibe, like me. And these are 69 grams, the OG 69. Some of you guys will buy it just for that, right? 69 grams, they're very good weight. And this is a ZMAC product, guys. Again, this is a coated ZMAC, and maybe that's the only downfall. That's my probably my biggest caveat with the, with the leaf twig and the thorn is that they are still ZMAC. I, for one, would love to see a stainless fruit variant. Maybe in the future, titanium, give me an aluminum, give me something that is going to last a little longer than ZMAC so that I can pass it on to my bald children and their children's children that will also be bald thanks to this. All right, guys, let's get into the head shave. Uh, I'll be using CO Bigelow as a starter, as my starting uh, pre-shave. I like to use shave cream as a pre-shave, especially when I'm on camera, you guys know that. But if you're not new, or if you are new, if you're a newbie subie shaver, this is the first time you're here, guys. You may not know that this is how I do it. And if you are new, please go below. Please go below and give me a comment, give me a like, and give me a sub. I would love that, it helps me, helps the channel, and it gets me out there in with a little bit more reach so we can help other people. Oh, this is a really good, really good cream. I really like the coverage it produces, and it does have a little bit extra menthol in it. It's cooling me off. I actually have chills right now, guys. I have chills with how cold I am. And I'm in like a 100 degree bathroom. So this is nice. This is how I'm gonna be doing it more often in the summer. Whew, I'm loving it. Um, again, colon shapes, or colon uh, brush works. I don't even know if he's, if he's come up with a name right now. He's just kind of doing it on the side uh, with his restoration work. And man, colon, this brush is just absolutely awesome. It's so soft and it just really, really gets the, um, it releases the lather really well. Oh, I just love this. And I really love Noble Water. Their base is awesome. Their smells are great. They're very unique. Um, that's probably the only downfall of no Noble Water is you either love it or you hate the smell. Oh, delicious. And what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're going to do half the head shape with one, half with the other, and then I likely will go back and finish the head shape with the other so that I'm super close. Because yesterday, it jacked with my face. I had different shaves going on all day and I kept doing this and like, 
by 5 p.m. I was like, I am stubbly here and no stubble here. It was just the weirdest interaction with my face. So um, breaking these blades, guys, right? Leaf, you snap the blades in half. Just snap them in half. Just, just go ahead and just break them in half. And these ones, these ones are a little bit tougher to, to snap. Um, I do find Persona's blades to snap a little bit different. I don't know if that's how they temper their metal or why that's the case, but they are a little bit more bendy. And here is the first blades. And if you're not, if you are new to the channel, I do stack my blades in my twig. Um, I do find that the twig benefits from having a more rigid blade. Um, I believe personally, again, guys, I'm, I don't make blades. I don't manufacture blades. I don't know. I'm not positive here, but this is my skin fill. This is what my, my skin's telling me is that um, because there's no bend to these blades, right? These are not getting the, the traditional DE bend. They um, are staying flat. And so what you get is a little bit of flexion as you're shaving. This is my, this is my theory. And so when you stack them, it, it helps the pressure from right creating that flapping effect that blades will do in my, in my theory. So it creates more rigidity and therefore you have less chatter, which is going to give you a more comfortable shave. This is two DE blades stacked. And these are the Persona Med Preps, Lab Blues, as you've heard them referred to as. Lab Blues, guys. And these do say, right, let's, let's, let's get into it. They say made in America. If it doesn't say made in America, they are not a lab blue. Just to be just to be really clear, it also says it on the blades and they're stamped uh, made in America. Um, if they don't say that, guys, if they, if they say, you know, sold in America, if they say anything else other than made in America, they are not true lab blues. And I have seen knockoffs. It's crazy. Crazy to me that somebody would knock off a razor blade. But I guess at a dollar a pop or whatever they are, they're really expensive. Um, that makes sense. Uh, again, we're stacking the two blades and we're putting them right in to the copper. And I'm trying to speed this up over yesterday. I'm not showing it like perfectly because I don't, I'm trying to speed it up. I'm trying to get you guys out of here. I, you've already seen how all these function, how the bottom swirls and spins back together to lock the blades in that you don't have to, um, that you can shake it upside down with the magnet that it has all those functions and features. I'm just trying to get you guys the head shave portion of this that I didn't do yesterday again because it was the weekday. I do not do head shaves typically on weekdays because I feel like it takes a little bit more time and most of you guys are busy, you're working. I've had some people tell me they watch these while they're working and I'm like, man, I can't imagine trying to do 10 different things, especially with me in the background talking. I More power to you guys. Okay, so let's do this again. This is the wife's prism twig versus the husbands, the hubbies, the true success, in my opinion, the succeeder, the, the thorn copper. And we're gonna be doing, let's do right side twig, right side twig guys. And for me, even when I have a sunburn, even when I have really sensitive skin, I still prefer the thorn because I can get faster shaves, less passes. And um, you guys saw it was smooth. This is a very smooth shaving razor on the head very smooth shaving razor on the head. I'm going to show you guys, I can do it very quickly, very quickly with the twig because the twig really does not have a ton of blade fill. It's just kind of a, a put it down and go. And you guys can see I'm getting a fine level of, uh, of shaving soot as I like to refer to it as, right? This little segment of, of, of stubble. And that means it's gonna be a pretty good shave. My biggest issue here, guys, biggest issue is I get a little bit closer, a little faster with the th with the um, thorn. It's just a personal preference. Okay, that's it. You guys saw that? We were fast. We were, we, it was quick. And I don't want to, I don't want to raise any hopes here, but I'm going to be battling using the thorn against the creator of Leaf. Good old Adam and I are talking offline about doing a battle, a battle royale, you could say. And you can see, I'm able to develop a lather on my head simply by moving my hand across the surface because I still have stubble, especially here. And on the back of my head, I have a lot of stubble still um, from that pass. A lot, like this, uh, it knocks some down, but I definitely still have quite a bit, especially in my trouble spot right here and up here. 
this, these two spots are the trouble spot of my head. Um, so now I'm going to go against the grain. We're going to see how we do. And I know IMCDB says that I go too fast around my ears. I don't really have problems with cutting my ear anymore. But that again could be my ears are just disconnected more than other people's. The shaving angle on these is so easy, guys. It's so easy. You know, when you look at like things like the supply razor, you know, that fits that more traditional injector style. Um, I feel like the shape of the head on this really lends itself to a good angle. And I think I'm at like, it's hard to tell because I'm not counting perfectly. I think I'm about three passes right now. And I'm going to show you guys. I don't know again. No, I don't know if this is gross. Nobody mentioned yesterday. I'm like, is this gross to you guys? No one, no one talked about it. So I'm going to keep showing you guys because you guys get an idea that way how they are performing. Okay. We are, again, this is very close. It's a DFS at this point, but I have stubble going this way. I have some stubble going. I've got to go across the grain with this razor. I do not have a choice. I do not want to have a head that feels like that. So I'm going to go like this. And this is mostly um, dry. There is still a little bit of lather left behind. And we're just using that proto lather essentially for the shave portion of this. And yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, I can show you guys, it's still knocking stuff down. I can actually feel the stubble it, that it's still trying to shave against. And again, this is a great three pass razor. If you are buying a razor for someone that has got really sensitive skin, who's learning to shave guys that um, is, is getting the hang of things. You guys see that, that stubble still? If, if, if you're, if you're trying, if somebody's learning how to shave, that wasn't a fair swipe. I had soap on my hand. This is smooth. We're smooth. Yep. And I have scars and stuff on the back of my head from when I had cancer. So for it to be able to shave this quick and that easily, even around my scars, it's a, it's a good thing. It's definitely quick, and it's dead. You see this right here, though? Just come in, just hit it down one more time. It's a good three in cleanup. There we go. Perfect. That's the that's the this side. And I don't know if you guys are timing that. I don't know how you want to do this. But that's like a good three in cleanup. And I can actually fill right here where the stubble starts and where the BBS ends. I'm going to grab a little water, throw it on. Just using my hand. I'm going to keep going. So that was very comfortable, very smooth. I think that's where Leaf really gets a huge bump, right? A huge thumbs up from me is in the smoothness and in the comfort of the shave, right? When you talk about money, the three C's, closeness, comfort, and cost. We talk about the three C's, guys. The money aspect of it really is going to be personal, right? Some people, like $50 is different than $500 is different than, right? It's all different variations. And that's why I, like, for me, I think the $50, it, it, it's okay. I think it's doable. It's it's something, it's a budgetary thing. Like, right, you can budget for it, for me at least in my means, um, budget for it and get one because it's a great shape. It's worth the $50 to me com in comparison to other products that are in the $50 range, okay? Um, closeness, absolutely, and comfort, absolutely. This is, as I said yesterday, the razor that really showed me what a um, comfortable shave is, what a comfortable close shave could be. And so I benchmark all my razors off of this one. And let's, this is the thorn guys. And we're going to go and do the same thing. And I'm going to put my hand right here because I have a bug bite. I have a bug bite on the back of my head and I just need to make sure I don't attack it. And because I'm able to go so fast with this razor, I have noticed, oh guys, instantaneously it just I can feel how much closer this is cutting instantly oh my goodness and I'm gonna show you guys the picture says it shows it all hopefully you guys are seeing this the stubble's larger it's thicker and there's more of it oh yeah I, I, I don't even guys can see this I can't even really develop a good lather which is the one pass you can see this, like I'm trying to get it to come back and it's 
pretty much smooth. And that's why I think I can outrun Adam over at Leaf. Because even with the Leaf, I don't get this kind of um, efficiency. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today, just a little bit about the this razor, is that it was never intended, right? The twig was never intended, guys, as a solo head shaver. Never was. Um, they, they released it as a way to fix um, their, like, what do you want these little angles right here, right? So you can get in and do this. Because it's really hard to do that with the leaf. Okay, one pass against the grain. So it was never really developed as a solo shaver, but I really feel like leaf developed, when they hit the thorn, they were able to develop a razor that can do everything. And yes, you have to have good form, guys. This is not a magic tool. I said it in the last video. It's still a razor that you're gonna need a little bit of practice with, but look at this. You see the difference? Huge difference, guys. You see how much is in there? Huge difference, and in closeness, too. Um, oh, I can just feel it. Take the hair, go right through it. Just glide through the hair. And yes, this will absolutely bite you if you do not follow good form absolutely will bite you yep nice and smooth nice and smooth i have that one spot in my bug bite i just don't want to shave it do not want to shave the bug bite spot terrified to shave it. I, I i nicked it the other day even trying to shave around it absolutely smooth two pass two and what two and a quarter two and whatever you want to call it absolutely and it's smoother ironically that's the funny part this side is actually smoother than this side both are great razors guys but if you're looking for a workhorse that can really just knock it down consistently they're so close but i can feel just a little bit less on this side than this side and it was faster that's the head shave, guys. We are BBS head shave. I missed my sideburns. We're going to trim them up really quick. Miss the sideburns, guys. Miss the sideburns. Um, I am BBS as it comes. I have no nicks. And it was extremely comfortable. Like I said, I'm going to go <laughs> just do it with the thorn. Because if I do it with a, th with a twig, it's going to take me a little longer. Look at that. Oh, beautiful shave. I meant it when I said it, guys. Absolutely the products that I compare all other modern razors to. Oh, we did it! And it was great! It was fantastic! Oh, love that shave. When you guys were like, we want to see those compete. I was like, done. No problems. Because I love you. That's my favorite way to shave. When I'm off, guys, when I'm off camera, that is the two razors. Those are the razors that I use. Um, honestly, I swear to you guys, those are the razors that I will pick up more than any others in the den. And I've got quite a selection back there. And I just, if I'm going modern, right? I don't want a vintage shave. I want to go with a modern shave. I love how that feels on my head. Right now, guys, it's just, my head feels so smooth. It feels like I didn't ever have a hair, but it doesn't feel irritated. And I think that's the key. When you're walking around, right? You want to show off your beautifully shaved soft skin, right? You want to show it off. You don't want to have like little red bumps and, and irritation and the leaf, the twig, guys. It never, the thorn never leaves me with any kind of irritation. Oh, rubbing it with the um, menthol, guys, feels super nice. We're going to get in there. We're going to add some of this um, Northern our Orbit. I want to call it Northern Electric. This Orbit. And Orbit's a little bit, in my opinion, um, it's less cold than the Northern Elixir, if you guys were curious. Just a little less cold. But it has a very nice scent. Guys, beautiful head shave. If you're looking at these razors and considering either of them, they both are fantastic. I personally would prefer going with a thorn, but I know that that's just me. There's other people that go the other way that really strongly believe that the twig is the more comfortable variant. It's 100% gonna depend on your skin, your stubble, uh, your preferences on razors in general, how much pressure you like to apply, all those things come into effect. But hopefully this allows you to have an informed and educated uh, opinion on the matter, right? You're able to look at them and say, okay, if I want to solo shave with one razor, I don't want to load a twig and a leaf, which one's best for me? And for me, guys, that's going to be the thorn. Again, 
just because I was able to get this kind of shave, right? <laughs> Absolutely BPS in one and a half, two passes. Super easy versus the three that I still have a little bit. I mean, it's BPS. It's perfect, but it won't be all day. It's like a, it's a good six, seven hour shave for me. That's it. Guys, you rock. Happy Fridays. TGIF up in this mug. We have a long weekend coming up. Maybe we'll do some fun shaves. I don't know, but we will be doing the giveaway. So get pumped. I am, and we'll talk later. Bye, everybody!